And I got $150 worth of King air filters that I can't use. Jesus Christ. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Getting the eBay 350Z front bumper put on the Z today. Uh, we do got the bumper absorber up here. Um, I just put a little painter's tape on it just to kind of hold it in place. Um, we're just kind of messing with the brackets a little bit. Uh, getting this thing situated. Um, I, I'm going to put the bumper on because I don't know how long it's going to be until I paint this car. surrounded by fireworks it's crazy it's like this yesterday too people in South Carolina love their fireworks Well, the search for a proper air filter for the Z continues. I had gotten one ordered through Holly. I think it was a Flowmaster inverted air filter. It's just, it's too big. The flange is okay, but it, the, the base of the filter itself was too big to fit in the box. I want to keep the, the uh, k and intake that's on this car. I ordered one from Z1, like I said, yesterday. What the hell? Oh, I did order this. I'm like, did they send me something? No. I still have a little creaking noise and I'm just going to replace the bushings from my front sway bar. So cool. Forgot I ordered those. That'll be good. Hopefully it helps. This is for their pop charger. Damn it. This is going to be too big too. So you can see it's the inverted style, but this is not almost five. It's, they said it's about five inches. The flange is about five inches. <laughs> Are you kidding me, man? God damn. I even emailed them to confirm. God damn it, this pisses me off. They said it's about five inches. It's six inches. Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it. I got $150 worth of fucking air filters that I can't use. Jesus Christ. Okay, finally. I think we have a solution. 
to the air filter issue, and here it is. It is a K&N Universal Fit air filter. We can go down to three inch. The velocity stack has been an issue. Finding something with a five inch flange that has the inverted conical filter, which we have right here, you can see. The other solution, the main component, is this guy here. It's an intake adapter. It's a little bit thin. It's a little bit flimsier than I was hoping. Um, but a $12 solution is going to help me adapt the MAF tube to retain this box and use the filter with the three inch flange rather than the five. This little velocity cone, little velocity, this little velocity cone thing that I was talking about, really, I mean, that's gonna have minimal effect for real. And then this is the cone filter that I was having to deal with because there's nothing available. They actually sent the wrong one. This was supposed to be an inverted conical filter with you know, filter material in this section also. And they sent me this one, but th this was like the height of COVID. So supply chain problems and there was inventory problems and I was not gonna wait six more weeks for another filter. I was really just wanting to drive this car. So I just kept it, but I don't know what, this is the most ridiculous design of a filter I've ever seen. I can't imagine any reason, any benefit to having something like this and engine was not able to provide me any stats or figures or any details as to what this actually does so uh, i kept it but i could certainly tell when i put my you know intake cover on to protect protect it from the rest of the engine bay heat um, that it was struggling for air so i know it wasn't pulling in from the front um, so we just need to get rid of this one this is trash Some gimmicky little thing, I'm sure. Surprisingly, everything fit. Hardware was perfect. Uh, I didn't even realize this thing, little thing was gonna come with hardware, so that was cool. Fits in here nice, nice soft rubber gasket. So just uh, crimped it down a little bit. Just to make sure we got a nice seal. Looks like we do. Should be good. And now it'll suck air directly from this little scoop. Once we put the little, the opening in here, uh, the bumper vent will really get some nice flow into that cone filter. This looks sharp. And since we don't want it to be a hot air intake, of course, we got the little intake cover here. So that adds a nice little touch to it. But also is gonna protect it from that hot air coming from the engine bay. And you guys saw probably at the beginning, had a little rubber gasket running around the top of the air box itself. That's gonna help seal it up quite well and really keep that airflow going directly into the front of that filter. So this should be a lot better than what we had going on before with that crappy engine filter. The filter itself is okay, but that design is just stupid. When I put this cover on, it was pulling very, very little air from the front of the car. So it was kind of actually choking a little bit. I felt like it was struggling for air. So now when we have that direct airflow in the front of the filter, this box is gonna help keep that hot air out, but it's still going to allow it to get a nice volume of air into the intake, keeping the car running good. So next thing to do is just test it out, see what we think. sucks car was all clean but anyway it feels snappy feels like we're still getting the air the issue was when you're cruising and then you kind of step on it it felt like it was struggling so I'm gonna shift into third here to see what kind of feedback we get Pretty sealed off with that cover on the airbox. 